Okay, welcome back. So this week, what I thought we would go over is a physical examination, what I'm looking for when I do a nose to tail exam. And here to help us is, is Jimmy. This is my little dog, my little dog Jimmy, who kindly volunteered. Of course, you know, he'll work for treats, so pretty easy. All right, so just to start off with, what I usually do is I look, I look at the whole whole pet, how they're standing, how they're interacting with either you, the owner, or with me. You know, are they <laughs> can't contain their liquor? You know, how how they're standing. And then I start with the head. I usually start with looking at the eyes, and then go to looking for the ears. And basically, I'm looking for anything, anything abnormal. Any swelling, drainage, miss, you know, something that's not the right color. And then we go to the teeth. And I'm looking for tartar buildup, gingivitis, any loose teeth. And then if they'll let you look at their tonsils. And then I start feeling lymph nodes. Okay, any swollen lymph nodes. And then we just go back to those eyes and ears with a little more detail. Look at both eardrums. And again, just looking for anything abnormal. Any swollen ear canals, any gunk in the ears, anything like that. And then we look at the back of the eyes. Looking for aging change in the lens, cataracts. Anything that's not supposed to be there. And of course, Jimmy all looks looks good with you. And then we'll turn turn your pet around. And I start feeling the back half. So again, feeling for lymph nodes, any swollen lymph nodes. And you have lymph nodes back here in your calves, but you didn't know that. So then feel the pulse. Should feel the same in both uh, both hind limbs. And then any lumps and bumps down the torso, the back, the tummy, any skin bumps. And then we get into the abdomen, and I'm just feeling for any lumps and bumps in the abdomen that do not belong. And then also checking for any pain or discomfort, because it shouldn't hurt. It should not hurt under normal circumstances. And then I also kind of look down at the feet. You know, check for any uh, long, really long toenails, any ingrown toenails, and again, any swelling, anything that just doesn't belong. And then we go back to the chest and listen for the heart, listening for any heart murmurs, abnormal heart sounds, extra heart sounds, anything like that. And then last, I usually look at the skin. Checking for dry skin, warts, bumps, fleas, anything like that, any hair loss. And of course that all looks looks good. Alright, you're a very good boy. Alright, give me one. There you go. All right, but that's what I'm looking for uh, when you come in for your annual preventive, bring your pet in for their annual preventive exam. That is everything that I'm looking for uh, when we go nose, nose to tail. So any questions, just give us a call, and uh, we'll see you back next week. Thanks a lot.